Uh, Neil Warnock joined Jim White and Simon yesterday, the record-breaking boss. Was it 600, 1,600 and... 1,603 games absolutely incredible a remarkable achievement and he was telling the story how he broke the news of his departure just 10 minutes before the kickoff against West Brom yeah I knew before yeah it was um, if anything it probably made me more deter- I had a chat with the lads I didn't tell the lads before 10 to 3 because I didn't want them all going you know what it's like nowadays yeah. and they're all on the phone just tweeting and decorating and doing whatever they're doing and I didn't want to tell them that. So just before we went out, I just sat them down. I said, listen, lads, it's my last game today. Uh, I know it'll be a surprise and disappointment for some. One or two might be happy. I said, but what I want you to do is go out there today and show me how good you are. Because you are good. If we hadn't made so many silly mistakes, we'd be in that top three or four. It's interesting, isn't it? I mean, you think these things, you, mm. you, you find out about them, but it's a, Dean Smith was probably another one. I was going to ask you, what do you think is the strangest and in many ways disappointing way that you find out a manager or a coach has lost his job? I mean, nothing, <laughs> what, what, Gab, nothing surprises us nowadays, yeah. do you know what I mean? I think sometimes when you hear managers come out maybe a few weeks after they've been sacked and they're, they're, they're found out, through a friend yeah. you know what I mean I found out on the TV yeah. Sky Sports News they've been sacked before they've been told you, you've, you've heard some crazy stories but at least he got told before the game you know what I mean he knew Yeah, I think managers deserve that respect don't they to, to know first before anyone else I think so but it's a kind of catch 20, 22 situation Gab, because I'm thinking of somebody like um, Nuno for example at Spurs yeah. right there's no way that Daniel Levy hasn't sounded out Conte well, a hundred percent, right? I know. So that part of it, although we don't like it, we can understand it, right? Yeah, they're, because they're, he, they're he, all doing it. He would be, yeah. he, he would be accused of not doing his job properly if yeah. he, yeah. So even I, if like like with players, if if you're looking to replace a striker, you're going to be sounding out a new striker before of course, yeah. you tell a striker yeah. you've got that you know he can move on. I, I think the con, the term is. Tapping up. Tapping up. Yeah. <laughs> Tapping up. Now you can listen to Neil talking candidly to Alan Brazil about his longevity and career so far on Neil Warnock, Record Breaker, which is available on all podcast platforms via the TalkSport Game Day feed. TalkSport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.